everybody, welcome back. Today is Monday, January the 11th. So let's go ahead and get into day 11 of the quest calendar and get our daily dose of dungeon crawling and our RDA of RPG. All right, so we just came through the portal and we defeated these definitely not Dementors. So let's see what happens next. So we're at the Dragon Temple. It says you once knew this Dragon Temple well, but it has been a long time since you have been back here. You can recall where all the traps are, and you don't have much time to visit. So starting from the S, we're going to navigate to the star, and note the room numbers we visit, and resolve them as instructed. Some rooms may have treasure, but most are perilous. Being a cautious adventurer is advised. Now the key here is to not look on the previous day's form, because that's going to spoil it for us and tell us where we want to go to to try and navigate the best. So we're just going to blindly run through this thing and hope that we pick really well. All right, so here's the path that I'm going to choose to go with. We're going to start at the S, go north to three. Then we're going to go kind of northwest up to number one, backtrack down to four, over to five, and then over to the star. I'm going to avoid number two. I don't know what's going on up there. Looks kind of iffy. Let's go over now and run through each room and see how we did. All right, so starting out here with room three, this says, room three is the rubble room. This was once a grand ceremonial entryway. It is now a pile of rubble. It appears recently destroyed. This person you're after must have done this. As you climb through the rubble, you need to be careful not to slip. Roll a d20 plus your dexterity. And looking back at our character card, we can see that Godwin isn't the most fleet of foot and his dexterity is actually negative three. So we're gonna roll our d20 and then we're going to subtract our dexterity, and then we'll come back and see what the result is going to be. So over here to the tower. And we roll a 10. So looking back here, we take our roll, which was 10, subtract our dexterity of three, and we get a seven. So this says, if the result is seven or less, you stumble over some loose rubble and you lose your balance. You slip and fall. Reduced your health by 2, leaving us with 22 health. So then we're going to leave the rubble room, and we're going to go north to room number 1. And room number 1 says, You can see the sparkling shimmer of torchlight reflecting off the piles of gold coins. A large altar sits at the back of the room. It looks like it hasn't been touched in years. Offerings stopped here long ago, but the hoard seems intact and unpilfered. It seems that the person who sent you this letter was smart enough to avoid the trap. So we leave room one unharmed, and then we're gonna go to room four. And room four says, it was worth visiting in this room just to check on the eggs. You don't know what this person is after in the long run, but you know that these are valuable and their secret needs to be kept. You decide to give this room a quick investigation and account for all the eggs. Roll d20 plus intellect. And again, we have the ability reminder that says Keen Investigator. So we're going to come over to the tower. We're going to roll a d20. We're going to add in our intellect, which is 5. And then we're going to add in our Keen Investigator, which is another 4. So in total, we're going to add 9 to whatever this roll is. So then we're going to roll a 9. Plus 9 is 18. And then looking back at the card here, if the results are 13 or more, it takes a while to check them all, but the mud sacks and the eggs are encased and intact until you find that one is completely missing. And then we're going to leave room four and go to room five and it says when you enter this chamber, you immediately sense the disturbance in the magical forces. Someone has corrupted the ritual circles and thrown the energies out of balance. They lash out at you. Try to deflect them with your arcane talents. Roll d20 plus wisdom. And here we have the ability reminder for master of the arcane, which remember is we're gonna add five to our arcane rolls. So I don't think we've used our wisdom skill yet. So we'll look back at our character card, see that wisdom is plus six. So we're gonna roll a d20, add plus six and plus five to that. So we're gonna add 11 total to this roll. So back to the tower, we roll, 
a 13. We come back over here and we see that room five says, if the results are 18 or more, you deflect the energies and get them back under control. And then from there, we're gonna go from room five over to the star. All right, so we make it to the dragon temple and we get through there fairly unscathed. Probably could have gone a little bit better, but it probably could have gone worse too. Uh, again, if you're playing at home, let me know what path you guys chose in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as tomorrow's video goes live. And I'll see you guys then.